high five. No, I'll take it. Just now, I'll put it in the back of the hut. I don't think Ken can get like Bob? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Splash Toys Liverpool. That's terrible. You can't have a game that. Welcome to Splash Toys Liverpool. There we go. So, a little bit of safety stuff first. Please keep your all arms, heads, and legs inside the vehicle at all times, with an emphasis on small children. Now, we're going to do a loop of the city. It's going to be about half an hour. We'll then come back here. I'll drive down this slipway that's just coming up on your left hand side and into the dock from there. So you'll get to see Liverpool by land and by water today, which is quite nice. Now, a little bit of history first. Liverpool was established all the way back in 1207. There's only then King John in all of English history because he did such a bad job of being king that nobody else wanted to call John afterwards. So, instead of calling him John the First, we simply call him what he was, which is John the Worst. <laughs> now, We're about to turn onto James Street. Can we all see this big red building that's on the corner of James Street? It's, it's like orange and white and all these different colours. It's a fantastic building. It's originally called Albion House. Now, Albion House was the headquarters of the White Star Shipping Line. The White Star Shipping Line, they were based here in Liverpool and they paid and registered for the most famous ship in all of history. Does anyone have a guess what it was called? Titanic. There we go, I heard some clever clogs on board. We have the Titanic. Uh, Titanic was built over in the north of Ireland in Belfast. It was then shipped over here to Liverpool. I'm oh, sorry, it never came to Liverpool. It was registered here in Liverpool. It's south, down south to Southampton, and that's where all the guests got on board. But because it was registered here in Liverpool, if you go back and watch the James Cameron film, whenever you see the word Titanic on the ship, underneath it, smaller letters will be Liverpool. Now, to this day, you can still buy a t shirt in Belfast that says Titanic, built by the Irish, sank by the English. <laughs> Now heading down towards Liverpool Road, they'll be coming up on your right hand side. Liverpool Road is the largest open air shopping centre in the country. Bang, in all of Europe. Second largest in the world. Outside of China, don't think we really care about it. It's not like we're bigger than the minimum. It's not here to worry anybody, it's just an MCU required that makes me really trouble. Right. So, we come to the third time I'd like that, so we'll bear up the place. So these big white things that are hanging off the back, they're like that. You guys do not need to worry about those. If for whatever reason we need them, they'll be deployed by either more range. We're going to let you know what we do. Um, just in case as well, we have white rings dotted above your heads. Okay. That they can fit two men at a time. Those are life jackets that fit for adults, children and infants as well. So everybody on board has a life jacket. <laughs> Uh, then we have an emergency. We have two emergency exits that you can't miss the points here. This is your front row, so you guys in the front five rows, this is your emergency exit. You guys in the back six rows, your emergency exit is on this side, it's those steps basically. Then for whatever reason, one of them is covered, we'll use the other one, basically. So an iron structure. So, have we all got our rain boots ready? This is called Splash Toys. If you didn't think you'd get wet, I think that's on you. And away we go. Oh. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen, you are now on a boat. So, we have just splashed down into the Salt House dock. 
So, the closest to us to Burns and Bay, we have the port of Liverpool building, that's the one with the big dome on top. Then we have the Cunard building, that's the one in the middle. Finally, the Lava building at the far end. Now, the Lava building, believe it or not, actually used to be the tallest building in Britain. But the tallest building when it was built in 1911 and 1962. And shout they built their headquarters in London, that took over as the tallest building. Now, it was only technically the tallest building because of the live birds on top. They are 18 feet tall and they pushed it slightly over the barrier to be the tallest building. The fella is now coming into the city with open wings and Bertie is wrapping his wings around the city to keep them safe. Now, you may notice they are chained down up there. That is because there is a myth that if the live birds were to ever turn and face one another, they would fall in love and fly away into the sunset and Liverpool would cease to exist. So callous given that we are, we chain them down facing opposite direction. to once said, history, it doesn't repeat, but it tends to rhyme. So we're making sure we remember our history. We're just going to do one more loop of the lock further and then we'll head out from there. There are some very fancy boats in the Albert Dock, especially at peak season. I came down here a couple of weeks ago, and well, it was about a year ago now actually, there was a massive yacht docked up, and it had his name on it, so I grabbed it. Yes. And he's the owner of the largest forklift truck company in the world. There it is. We're very nice here in Liverpool. If you wave, nine times out of ten we'll wave back. Don't wave at the teenagers now. Uh, we just do the little thing then. Put that. To your right. He said don't wave to the teenagers. Apparently there's a lot of jellyfish around this area. I can't see any, that's a shame. Now, I'm not sure if there's one here today. I'll, I'm always keeping an eye out for them. But in this area, it tends to be where a type of bird called a cormorant likes to nest. Now, a cormorant is actually the bird that serves as the inspiration for the live bird. So here in Liverpool, we've always had a bird as our official symbol, but it used to be an eagle. That because we basically got it from King John. Remember him from right away in the beginning? So, after the English Civil War, we weren't too happy with the royal family and we decided we didn't want the eagle as our symbol anymore. Around that time, we started to get a type of bird in the city called a cormorant. So, we basically combined the cormorant and the eagle together to form the live bird. Now, interestingly, these cormorants, they used to come in the summer and then they would leave and they'd go to Holland really? for the winter. Yeah. So we used to call them the Lever Birds. Yeah, second will be. Then, in the last hundred years, they were put on top of the Lever Building, and it's slowly been corrupted so to Lever Birds. So will be able to tell them yeah. that they will yes. be able That is where the term comes from. Yeah. Yeah. Now, they tend to dock on this barge here. It's a shame there's not one here right now. But if you come back, they're a black it's bird. A um, they look like a waterfowl, but when they spread their wings, you can tell it's a Lever Bird. Right. Right. Any moment now, you're about to feel the front wheels touch onto the slipway. There we go. A lot of people like to ask me what happens to the wheels when we're in the water. Well, I would like to say that they took under like a cool James Bond car. Actually, they're just hanging in the water.
If you're looking for things to do over the evening here in Liverpool, I'd recommend Matthew Street. There's a lot of bars down there, a lot of so loud music. You can really so like the Beatles. It's a really good place to go to. Make sure you go to the Cabin up. Club, not the Cabin Pub. They won't tell you you're in the wrong place until you've already bought a drink. That's where we went. That's where we went. There's a yeah. Beatles themed hotel. Not hotel, sorry. Beatles themed museum. Here in the world, I have a dog called the Beatles Story. There's another Beatles themed museum on Matthew Street. That one is run by Pete Best. He used to be the drummer for the Beatles until he was fired by Paul McCartney. He's not bitter at all. Thought? Can I turn that just give you a, bit more, a little bit more than we've done in the city today, basically. <laughs> and those ones don't go into the water. You went all down there then, that's where you went. Based on the smell of that van, you should never been driving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to drop you back off at the bus stop. If you could just remain seated while we get the doors sorted, I'll let you know when it's safe for you to get off. But I'll give you a tip bucket at the bottom of the stairs. If you've not got no change or anything like that, that's fine. We just ran a trip advisor with you or something like that. Just let us know how we're doing, basically. Excellent. So, thank you very much, everybody. Thank you for joining us with Splash Tales Liverpool. Thank you. Thanks so much. No, cheers. Thank you very much, buddy. Thank you. Hey, Harry. Papa Wheelie. Papa Wheelie. Papa Wheelie. Um, I think he's going a bit too slow for that, mate. <laughs> I think Wheelie's like five miles away. <laughs> Maybe on like a, a bicycle, not. A bike. I doubt a duck boat could do it. Oh, man. You just got flown. Grace's going on YouTube. Oh, well. Jump out of the water! Go back there! 